Now, some of the other stories our EWTN News Nightly team has been covering in today's world. Is a North Dakota public school district discriminating against pro-life clubs? Catherine Zeltner is following this developing story for us. Catherine? Brian, high school girls at two separate public schools in the Fargo School District have been trying for months to start a pro-life club. Both requests were originally denied. When asked to reconsider, the district agreed to classify the pro-life clubs as outside agencies. This means limited meeting times, no posters, no school announcements, and the club can't host events on school grounds. Meanwhile, clubs including Gay Straight Alliances have been given official status in the district. A national law firm has issued a demand letter on behalf of the students. It charges the school district has unconstitutionally discriminated against pro-life students. The Thomas More Society says the school district is censoring free speech. Here, because the club is pro-life, the school district has decided to treat them as second-class citizens and restrict their ability to get their message out. And that is not just unfair, it's actually illegal. After attending the March for Life, Bridget O'Keefe wanted to start a pro-life group at her Fargo High School. She started a book club before, but says this experience was much more difficult. I spoke with Bridget yesterday and a Students for Life of America coordinator. Angela, is this an isolated case? Is it always a little bit more difficult to get a pro-life group started at a high school? Honestly, yes. Um, we do tend to face more challenges with our public high schools, but that's part of why Students for Life of America is working with these students. We want to ensure that their rights are being respected and protected. So. And Bridget, the district calls your pro-life club an outside agency. What has that meant and how is that different than being an official school club? What it basically means is we get a room in the school for an hour. We don't get to use the school name in our group name, such as we wanted to use Spartans for Life for our name, but we couldn't in this situation as an outside organization. And we can't put up flyers or leave anything in the room or anywhere else in the school. And we're kind of discouraged from really any outset, any interaction with the rest of the school. Mm. And finally, Bridget, if you can just share, why do you want to bring a pro-life club to your high school? I think it's important that my peers see both all sides of what's going on in our society right now and understand really all life issues. The Fargo School District hasn't responded to our repeated requests for comment. A release sent to local media says the district takes the demand letter seriously and it is being reviewed. Brian. All right. Thank you. Catherine Zeltner.